Today's true story from the Bible comes from the book of 1 Samuel, chapter 17. After the time of the judges, the people of Israel wanted a king to rule over them. God warned them that having a king was not the best he had for them, but they continued to ask for one. So God allowed them to have a king, and Saul became the first king of Israel. Meanwhile, the Israelites were in a great battle with their enemies, the Philistines. The Philistine camp included a mighty, terrifying warrior named Goliath. Goliath was enormous, standing over nine feet tall. He wore strong armor and carried a massive spear. For 40 days straight, Goliath shouted at the Israelite army, daring them to send out their best warrior to fight him. He said, if your fighter beats me, we'll serve you. But if I win, you'll serve us. When King Saul and his soldiers heard Goliath's challenge, they were terrified. There was a young boy named David who came to visit his brothers who were serving in the Israelite army. When David reached the camp, he heard Goliath shouting, making fun of the Israelites. David was surprised and asked, who is this Philistine to challenge God like that? David offered to fight Goliath, but Saul said, you're just a boy. You can't fight him. David replied bravely, I've protected my father's sheep from lions and bears. God helped me then, and he will help me now. Saul agreed, saying, Go, and may God be with you. Unable to wear heavy armor, David took his shepherd's staff, picked up five smooth stones, and approached Goliath with his sling. When Goliath saw David, he laughed and teased him. But David said, You might have a sword and a spear, but I come in the name of the Lord. He will help us win. Goliath moved towards David. And quick as lightning, David took a stone from his pouch, slung it, and hit Goliath right in the forehead. Goliath fell to the ground, defeated. God had given David and the Israelites the victory. David, the young boy who defeated the giant, later became the king of Israel. God promised that one of David's descendants would be a king forever. Many generations later, a baby named Jesus was born in David's family. Jesus rescued us from sin forever by defeating death, just like David rescued the Israelites from Goliath.